So now we have the example of scientific name and uh, there is another question why the common names have no scientific basis. So like we have an example of uh, many species, many vegetables and many uh, species in the whole biodiversity uh, which we use in our common life like for example we have an example of the vegetable onion its common Urdu name is Piaz but it also has many regional names like in many other regions of the of our country uh, Piaz, uh, onion is also referred to as Benda or Basal or Basal so again it causes a lot of confusion and for scientists uh, they have to use these kind of species for the research basis so this all causes a lot of confusion and uh, we are, uh, have another example of bluebells. Now ma uh, many of the plants with the bell-shaped flowers can be referred to as bluebells. So again, this is uh, this has no scientific basis. And again, we have another example, another terminology, another example of blackbird. Now a crow as well as a raven, a raven can be referred to as a blackbird. So now there is a lot of biodiversity because of the evolution. Uh, there are many variations in the species. And uh, again, this evolution resulted from the kingdom Procreo to Protista, Protista and from Protista Animalia, Fungi and Plantae evolved. And this is all through evolution. Now, this is again a problem and like we have an example of starfish, silverfish and jellyfish. To a biologist, these all kinds of fishes do not fit on the definition of a fish. Okay. So, these are just common names. They have no scientific basis and it, uh, basis and it causes uh, confusion. So there should be a one scientific name for each species because each species is distinct. Uh, and now in, uh, we have a reference from Carlos Linnaeus who was a, a scientist who used binomial nomenclature to name any of the plant species and animal species. In 1753 he published his list of the plant species and in 1758 he published the scientific names of the animal species.